Padlocks in response to a broken promise. I don't know what to say, so I'll just sing the hymn, said activist Giga Makarashvili at Tbilisi City Court on Monday. Supporters present at court joined him in the performance as well as five other detainees who faced charges over petty hooliganism and disobeying police. The footage went viral on social media. What a beautiful scene. This will go down in history for sure, said one Georgian Facebook user. Police arrested 37 protesters earlier that day when dispersing a rally that had blocked MPs from entering the parliament. The people are the ultimate source of the authority of the government. This parliament has lost popular legitimacy and has been padlocked. So what? Government critic Mark Akabadze wrote on Facebook. Opposition groups started putting padlocks on gates of state institutions in Tbilisi, Batumi and Kutaisi as a symbolic gesture of shutting down the government. The street rallies were sparked by Georgian Dream Party's decision to backtrack on their promise to reform the country's electoral system. When you promise something to the public and don't deliver it for whatever reason, your word means nothing. I would have just penned a short letter. I made a promise, I broke it, I'm leaving. That's how political commentator Gia Khukashvili reacted to the news that the ruling party under Bidzina Ivanishvili changed their minds. Following the protest since November 14, Georgian Facebook users pointed out the spark of sponsored content against the opposition groups. Some anonymous Facebook pages ridiculed protests for their small numbers on the streets. Others went even further. Gigi Ugulava, an opposition leader, has put a Russian padlock on Georgian parliament, read one of the troll posts. Solidarity campaign for detained Georgian doctor. On Monday, doctors held a live chain performance and started an online campaign with a hashtag, hashtag Freedom for Dr. Vaja in support of Georgian medic Vaja Gaprindashvili. Gaprindashvili was apprehended by the de facto South Ossetian authorities on November 9th for illegal border crossing. According to some reports, he was sent to two months pre trial detention after refusing to recognize the legitimacy of the de facto South Ossetian authorities. How many of us would dare to do the same? How many would have been able to summon up the courage to do it. I bow to his strength of character. It is paramount we safely get him back as soon as possible, wrote young Georgian politician Grigol Gegelia on Facebook. On Tuesday, Estonian embassy in Tbilisi published on Facebook a video address from Estonian ex-president Thomas Hendrik Ilves and her spouse Ieva Ilves. Thomas Hendrik Ilves urged the de facto authorities in South Ossetia to immediately release Dr. Gaprindashvili, a medical doctor performing and fulfilling his oath as a doctor to provide provide medical assistance to people who today live in an area where adequate medical care is not available.